Safety. In this video we will cover the following topics. Safety symbols. General safety. Operator safety. Tool safety. For additional information refer to your owner's manual. Section 1. Safety symbols. In this section we will cover important safety symbols and their definitions. The following symbols and definitions are designed to make you aware of potential hazards and unsafe practices. Warning: A potentially hazardous situation exists which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury. Caution: A potentially hazardous situation exists which, if not avoided, may result in minor or moderate injury or property damage. Section 2, General Safety. In this section we will cover six key points regarding general safety. Be sure there are no obstructions or unnecessary people present. Set up well-marked safety zone with a roped boundary and clear signs. Provide adequate ventilation when working in an enclosed area. To avoid electrocution, check for live electrical wiring near cutting area. Remove or control slurry to prevent slippery conditions while cutting. Perform safety checks before starting each day. Section 3, Operator Safety. In this section we will cover five key points regarding operator safety. Always wear protective protection equipment. Avoid loose fitting clothing. Always operate the tool with solid footing and with both hands on saw. Never use equipment that is not functioning properly. Have the saw repaired by a qualified service professional. Do not use your hands to search for hydraulic leaks. Hydraulic fluid escaping under pressure can penetrate skin. If any hydraulic fluid is injected into the skin, seek medical attention immediately. Section 4. Tool Safety. In this section we will cover 12 key points regarding tool safety. All examples in this section show proper technique and functioning equipment. Diamond chain breakage can result in high speed ejection of parts which can result in death or serious personal injury to operators or bystanders. The items listed are critical to minimizing the risk of diamond chain breakage and injury. Do not operate a diamond chainsaw with a damaged, modified, broken, or missing side cover, bottom guard, or guard flap. The side cover, bottom guard, and guard flap provides protection against contact with moving parts, ejected debris, broken diamond chain, thrown water, and concrete slurry. Do not operate saw with loose, missing, damaged, or improperly repaired parts. Do not use damaged, modified, or improperly repaired diamond chain. Do not install or run the chain backwards. The bumper should lead the segment into the cut. Never start the saw unless the guide bar, diamond chain, and side cover are properly installed. Do not run the saw backwards. The chain should travel away from the operator on the top of the bar and return on the bottom of the bar. When using a hydraulic saw model, do not exceed the flow for your saw. 8 GPM or 12 GPM at 2500 PSI hydraulic pressure. Diamond chains require a minimum water pressure of 20 PSI. Insufficient water supply may result in excessive wear to the diamond chain, which can lead to loss of strength and diamond chain breakage. Do not insert the diamond chainsaw into a slot narrower than the chain segments. Rapid pushback might occur.
Do not run the saw upside down. Concrete debris can fly back into the operator's face. Always turn the saw off when performing maintenance on the saw, including diamond chain tensioning. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about ICS. If you have further questions or require additional information, please visit our website at icsbestway.com.